On to the point, we hold the powerful accountable. After a murder suspect escaped from a Roseville hospital, the agency responsible is refusing to answer our questions. And I'll take full responsibility and we'll make sure it never happens again. That was Placer County Sheriff Wayne Wu earlier this month saying the escape of a dangerous inmate should never have happened. After a massive 33-hour manhunt around Roseville and Rockland, deputies captured Eric Abril. He's back behind bars awaiting trial on murder charges, accused of taking and shooting hostages. ABC 10 investigative reporter Brandon Riddiman has been pushing for details from the Placer County Sheriff's Office, trying to learn how this escape was possible. And Brandon, I have to ask you, has the Sheriff's Office been open about any of this? Uh, not about everything. We filed half a dozen requests for public records about this escape, almost all of which the Placer County Sheriff's Office refused to show us. The Sheriff's Office is keeping secret even some very basic details, like the staffing level of deputies who are paid with your tax dollars. The inmate in this story keeps putting the actions of law enforcement under a microscope. Back in April, officers tried to serve a search warrant on Eric Abril in a Roseville park. He shot one of the officers, they say, and a couple that he took hostage. James McEgan, the husband in that couple, died. It shouldn't have happened to them. Fast forward to this month. As the sheriff who's in charge of the jail and the custody of prisoners, this should have never happened. Held on murder charges, Eric Abril got away from the Placer County Sheriff's Office. Just after 3 a.m., inmate Eric Abril was able to escape. We learned only one deputy was assigned to act as Abril's guard during a trip to the hospital. And I'll take full responsibility. The sheriff said he was looking into how his office decided to make a change back in May. Instead of needing two deputies to act as guards, he was classified as only needing one. Once Abril was back in handcuffs, we used the California Public Records Act to press the sheriff for more details. But almost all the records we asked for, the sheriff's office kept secret. We got just one page showing a deputy was assigned to guard Abril when he left the jail, but most of the other details on the page were blacked out. Well, that's exactly why we have a public records act, so we can verify what politicians promise to us. The public generally has a right to the full story, not just the official story. David Loy, a lawyer with the First Amendment Coalition, was especially troubled that the Placer County Sheriff refused to release its duty rosters, a list of who was working around the time of the escape, and it refused to share its minimum staffing levels. The Sheriff's Office told us making those facts public wouldn't be in the public interest, even though the Sheriff personally fielded questions about them. I have no information to believe that this was at all related to staffing levels. That would seem to be, to me, an acknowledgement by the sheriff himself that there is public interest in knowing about the staffing levels. I agree. Whether the sheriff made that statement or not, the public always has an interest in knowing who's on the public payroll, are they doing their job, how are they being managed, how are they being allocated. You know, it's our tax dollars. We expect inmates to stay locked up. For now, the sheriff seems intent on keeping key information locked up, too. We sent a long list of questions to the sheriff's office for this story, but received no reply by our deadline this afternoon. Now, you weren't able to get the answers that you were hoping for, but you were able to use the Public Records Act to rule something out in this case. What was that specifically? Yeah, so under the PRA in California, an agency can do one of three basic things when you ask for a public record. They can give you that record, they can withhold it, and then they're supposed to tell you why. Or they'll tell you there is no record. And that is what the Placer County Sheriff's Office told us when we asked if they had any kind of formal agreement with the hospital about how to manage patients who are in custody. The hospital, Placer Roseville, has pointed us to the Sheriff's Office when we've asked them for any details about this case. All right, Brandon, thank you so much. Of course, you already know we'll continue to follow this. Thanks.